Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. And today we are playing the Shadow Ring mod. And today I'm gonna be showing you the things this mod has to include. So, number one is uh, there's a lot of different weapons in this mod. So I'm teaching you how to craft some of the my favorite ones, which are actually pretty good. Uh, I think they're, they're not in particular in any order, but I just think the the more useful ones I guess so first we have this leather and uh, if you put leather in there it will make leather strips which you can craft six using the stick and leather strips you can make a hilt and if you put two hilt together you get a pole and if you're wondering how to get steel which is right here you can cook iron into a furnace, and right here it will show you, you shall get a piece of steel. So anyways, uh, a lot of people use shields, so I'll be showing you some of the best shields for the cost, I guess. So we have the heater shield. The heater is like a normal shield, but you put steel, and you can put any ingot, and it will become that shield. Uh, so for a diamond, it's like 13, and doesn't weigh too much. So, basically shields can only block a certain amount of damage instead of blocking heavy damage, which is, yeah. Next, we have the rounded shield, which um, is a lot lighter, as you can see. And this diamond here is, you know, a lot lighter, but it can block less. So to make it, you put a wood in like a cross shape, and then you put steel in like any of these corners. To make this one, it was just a normal one. Uh, you can surround it with iron or any ingot or if you want this one which is stronger but weighs heavier you surround it instead of doing this so don't do this if you want this anyways um, next is the best shield in the game uh, you put these here uh, everywhere except for the middle and you put a steel thing but if you hold it it's cut up have ice I don't know but as you can see, it's just wood can only block 17, which is better than this diamond one here. And if you want it to combine it with any ingot, like here. The bad thing is, you get slowness too, which can be sometimes detrimental. So, anyways, uh, now I have to show you the accessories, or also known as artifacts. So these are the best ones here in the mod uh, for, I guess, exploring combat. Um, here, I believe, so if you have a feral crawls, they increase attack speed. This one causes attacks to do fire damage, increases movement speed and step height, increases damage, and it's a base amount, which makes this glove really broken. This one increases looting levels, uh, strikes lightning onto attackers, and increases health. And this one in decreases knockback. This one takes health as you lifesteal, and this one helps you drink faster, not eat faster. And this one gives you increased movement speed after taking damage, and yeah, the rest is the same. Okay, so then you have the weapons. So you can just make a stiletto, which you just need a hilt and any ingot. And basically, this is like a diamond sword. It does one less damage, but it allows you to armor pierce, which is pretty good for PvP, sometimes with mobs. Then you have the uh, uh, faces. It increases reach and has almost the same armor piercing. It deals more damage at the cost of a little bit of attack speed. You also can't uh, use a shield with this, which is a bad thing. And here are lances. I just decided to include this, uh, even though you can't technically use it here. Um, you can only use it like uh, while you're with the horse, so it kind of sucks. Then you have the uh, short sword. It's like the stiletto. I mean, it's like a normal sword except a uh, lot faster attack speed. So, yep. Then you got my one of my favorite weapons. It's a uh, it's a Wii Handler. It's pretty good. 
big damage, also a lot of armor negotiation and armor piercing. Armor piercing goes to armor, and armor negotiation is like uh, just less uh, armor effects. So basically, armor piercing is 4% of damage will go to the person directly, and 14% armor negation is like uh, your the damage you deal to the player will be uh, like the armor protection is 14% less. If that makes sense. Uh, you can also upgrade the Wii Handler. Some people might not say it's upgrade because you lose armor. Um, but you gain uh, inflicting non-healing wounds. So you lose damage but you gain uh, non-healing wounds. Which can be good for some boss fights that are immune to fire. And for those axe people there who really like axes, you got the diamond heavy war axe. And I guess it's better than the original because um, it's the same attack speed, but you get armor piercing. And here's the recipe, it's just with a hilt. Now if you want to make a longer version of it, you can just put a pole instead of a hilt. And with any ingot or whatever, you can have this. It does have less armor piercing, but... It does like way more damage as you can see, 5 extra damage. Now you got this uh, Hawk Bear Axe. I wouldn't say it's better, but it is better in some ways because of the attack speed bonus. Uh, since it's kind of like your normal axe, but slightly slower. Then you got the normal fight mod weapons, which is different from this medieval weapon. So you got a dagger. Which is uh, pretty good because you can dual wield them. You got the spear, which actually you can uh, one hand, but it's only on your right. You can't do it your left. And so that means you can use a shield with this. This one is the same thing except it's two handed. Uh, I'd say it's not too much better, but they have the goods and downs. Now I'll be sh uh, showing you the equipment I'll be using to build the boss fights for here, and so yeah, I'll see you guys. <laughs> Thank you.
taking off the motherfucking set. Like this, Biatch. Hey guys, I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching and, you know, I hope you have a good day. And make sure to like and subscribe because that will really help me a lot. Thank you for watching.